What's going on, everybody? It's a very tired Dank back again. Today we're playing Silent Dream. What the fuck just happened? Game over? Something's wrong. D does it expect me to be fast enough to dodge that? That's what I'm wondering. Because it says game over, not game one or get winner. Winner chicken dinner or nothing like that. Okay. Alright, we're back again with a different game. So, the Silent Dream game, it looks like there is a way to do it. But other people were struggling more than like five times and clicking through all that dialogue was really annoying. If you want me to go back and play that game, then I will. I'll just skip ahead to the next part after the shrine. But that was fucking annoying, so... I don't know. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know. For now, we're playing a Nox Timor remake. Another free game I saw. Timor read. I don't know what that means. Let's just click start. Why? This game is also a part of my biggest horror game I've made. Timor read. Okay. So I guess we'll have to check that one out if this is good. That's what I'm taking from this. They said their biggest horror game was Timor Redo. So we got their shorter version. Okay, that camera shakes a little nauseating to me. I don't know. I. Is there a way to open stuff? Well, I guess it would probably tell me. So, E. What the fuck? Is that the door closing? Is that what the door closing sounds like? It is, okay. Good to know. What the fuck? So it's one of these games, huh? So now this guy's here. Doesn't seem to do anything. Try to interact with him? I don't know. Is he gonna stand? Okay, we're gonna walk on him. If it's a jump scare that's super loud, I'm gonna be annoyed. It's not. But what it is, is a good thumbnail. Let's take it. Bam. Easy. So what are we doing? What's the g Fuck. What's the game here? Just keep walking back and forth? Or... So now he's here. Okay. I fucking <laughs> Oh, something new. You're back. I am. It's very ominous. What's going on with your back, actually? It's pretty freaky for a weird shaping clay model. But I could get behind it. And now we're in a big hallway. What happened to my flashlight? I still have it, it just appears that this is the abyss that I'm staring into. Okay, another letter. What do we got? Again and again. Okay. So there's more of you. You all stare at me. I mean, there's not much you could do if I just kick over your stand though, huh? Okay. Alright. We're never at peace, so now we leave. It's a very anxiety driven game here. Gotta close that. And it's dark. Nothing behind me though, so just keep walking. Okay, so it's dark, and I'm assuming there's somebody in here. So what, I look around for one of the statues? No, I look for a door, apparently. A very rusted door, or what? Alright. 
game has pretty good effects, I'm not gonna lie. Some of it's pretty- I mean... Art style might get to some people, but I dig it. Nah, we're good. Tight. Then I guess we have to look, okay. That's part of the story, so. I have no idea what that was at all. Um... Okay, uh... Was that a ghost? <laughs> Are there like multiple types of this? Returning without a choice. Returning without a choice. You want me to go this way? Alright, I got it. I'm, I'm not really returning, I'm going a different direction, I think. Unless you mean we're like returning to a different plane. Or the same plane, because it seems like I'm going back to the same areas I'm in. Oh. But what's this way, though? A chair. A weird chair with metal bits on it. Oh, I can't go in there. Fuck. <laughs> that got me. It didn't get me scared, but it got me uh, as I tried running into the door. I smashed my head into the fucking wood frame. Games without music, though, are generally more off putting than games with music. Because then I just envision myself being locked inside of a fucking room. And it's a uh, more literal sense. You know, you wouldn't hear background music playing in your real life. It'd just be silence like this. It becomes deathly silence at some point. Where you start hearing your own heartbeat because you're so focused on what could happen. What could be in the darkness. All your greatest fears. I think one of the best types of horror, as a matter of fact, is, um, horror where they don't actually show the monster or the villain. You just get this sense that something could be there, something beyond your wildest fears. Whatever it is, it's just ready for you, no matter what you do. I think that's a lot creepier than just going into... A situation being chased down by a evil leprechaun or whatever generic monster they might come up with. Your mind will always create a greater fear than any movie ever could. Mind is a scary place. Okay, well... Do we just keep searching the bathroom or... Can't look in there. And can't look in there. It seems. Right? No? Okay. Let's check the bathroom again. Must be something in here that we're missing. Oh! There it is. Library key. But no, I am a huge fan of horror for the fact that it always can be approached in different fascinating ways. But, unfortunately, a lot of horror directors end up going with the same shtick. Same sort of deal. Gimmicks. Definitely like uniqueness in horror. Which is why cosmic horror is always an appeal to me. Because it generally follows the same kind of lineup as the thing, but the way that they address it, like comedic routes and such like that, always different. Okay, is it just for that letter? Is that the only reason I'm here? Or do I gotta look for another key? Sinking into the same thought. Sinking into the same huh. thought. Sinking into the shell. Is it a record player back here? Okay. So now we move on? Is that it? I didn't see any key in there. Now this guy's here. Hey, thanks for guarding the door, buddy. Make sure nobody comes in. Ah. Uh, so what, a flashlight? Is that it? Thought I already had a flashlight, but apparently not. 
Well, it's nice of the monsters to give me a flashlight. I could respect that. It's better than some horror games where they just give you, um... What is it? A camera? You know, when they got those horror games, you gotta deal with a camera flash. That was very loud. There's a few Asian horror games I played back in the day that was like... Yeah, using the camera flash. Those ones are fun, to a degree, but it is even more anxiety-driven than something like this. <laughs> Just only having the flat. Oh, and you know what? Visage did that. I've been debating whether I want to get back onto that game, but fuck, it's annoying exploring that house. I, I can't find out where to go, so most of the videos were just too long for me to want to edit them. <laughs> if you're wondering why I stopped. If you are a fan from back at that point, when I was doing that, and had the bad thumbnails and all that. So what is this, a little maze? More red envelopes. Leaving yourself behind. Nah, I'm good. Did it, was that supposed to happen? I wasn't sure if I just pushed that over or what. Okay, apparently. Got that guy flickering like a light. Why does he do that? <laughs> I'm curious about whatever story might be in the. What is going on with the light here? Does it not want me to bump into these people? Let's see. Let's get a line up. Looks like a right through here. I don't know if those people actually even did anything. Alright, uh, this guy. This game is pretty fucking freaky though. Your These models aren't very freaky. Why is it doing that? Not sure how many of those lighting things that are happening are supposed to happen. What is this flash of light here? Is he holding a flashlight? No, it's just a little lamp there. I don't know if I'm supposed to dodge these guys or not. You're back. Again and again. Never at peace. Never alone. And now I'm stuck Returning behind without fucking... a choice. It's a really well made game. Okay, these people mean nothing. That was ridiculously fucking loud. <laughs> that was super loud. I have to turn that down when I'm editing. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how bad it is. <laughs> but I guess that was the whole game appreciate you guys coming by for these very short videos this has been Dank love you all hope you have a good day, good night, good morning peace out